We're working to learn more about today's search for missing University of Virginia student Hannah Graham. No one's seen her or heard from her in two weeks. Our Anita Blanton joins us live in studio. She's following this story for us today. Anita? Lex, we all know time is of the essence in situations like this. The search for Hannah Graham is now expanded to rural areas outside of Charlottesville. The Department of Emergency Management is coordinating searches and estimates. Crews have spent 44 hours dedicated to this effort just since last weekend. Meanwhile, the suspect in her disappearance is in police custody, will be back in Virginia soon, and hasn't provided any help for police in getting Hannah home. Now, Jesse Matthew Jr. agreed Thursday not to fight his extradition from Texas, where he was arrested on a beach on Wednesday. A sheriff's deputy responding to a suspicious person report found him camping and identified him by running a license plate check. Police do believe Matthew was trying to make it to Mexico. He made it 1,260 miles from Charlottesville and was about seven hours from the border. And new today, we're hearing from the woman right here in Gilchrist, Texas, who saw something odd and made the call to police. And he looked and did a double take and slammed on his brakes into the sand. Um, he was very close and looked right at me, and it was very scary. Once he gets back to Charlottesville, Jesse Matthew will have an initial appearance in general district court next week to ensure he has a lawyer and to schedule a preliminary hearing. And legal experts say police will face a major challenge making the charges against him stick. One criminal defense lawyer said the fact that someone is the last person to have been in Hannah's company proves that he did have the opportunity to abduct her, but not much more. Police have said a crime lab is testing clothing they recovered through search warrants, but they haven't said whose clothing that was, so more could come from that possibly to help their case. Anita Blanton, 10 on your side. We have special coverage of this story on wavy.com, including a timeline of everything that's happened since Hannah Graham disappeared. Go to wavy.com, click on the news tab, and then click on her name.